everyone, how are you today? We are live on my I Restore Stuff page and also cross-posting over to Essential Stencils page. We're about to do a live a project today using Christmas stencils. So it's all about Christmas this week and Essential Stencil has just released their new classic Christmas collection. So you may have seen us post about the um, Coastal Christmas and the Christian Christmas collections. Um, the, some of those have sold out already, but we do have, we have just, they've just released the Christmas, classic Christmas collection, a whole bunch, there's a whole bundle. And I've got the description in the link on my live on my page. Um, and we will get the links for you in the um, comments of the Essential Stencil page if you're watching there. So, hi Diane, hi Lily, how are you? You're watching on my I Restore Stuff page. So if you see me referring down here to my computer, I'll be watching comments on the Essential Stencil page. And um, I can see there's a whole bunch of people dropping on there. Hi Brenda, how are you? Mary's here. Mary's a regular. Brenda's a regular. Diana's here too, Denise. So we will just see some people popping on here and there. But let me know. I'd love you to share the live, sprinkle the love, as we call it, out there in Facebook land. Oh, excuse me. You might hear my little puppy, Olive. She's foraging around for some treats that I've left her so that it'll keep her occupied. Um, but let's see. We've got Christmas collection here. Now, you may have already seen this. I did a bit of an unboxing here on my page yesterday. So if you want to see the whole collection, we're going to have the links there for you. But there's so many fabulous things in there. Um, there are patterns like these. I may get a chance to use one of those today on our live. There's five foot porch sign which says, uh, Santa, please deliver here. So that's in different sections. It comes in all the different sections and it shows you how to put that in there. Um, now, there are some layering stencils today and I will be using one of those today. So there are some um, stencils that have different layers to them and there's clear instructions on the back on how to layer them. So this looks a bit odd. It doesn't look like a regular stencil when you just look at it like that. But this is the winter barn scene. And if you wanted to purchase this one singly, they've sold out singly, but if you buy the whole bundle, you will get this one in the bundle for sure. They will be restocking the barn and the snowman transfers at the end of the month. So if you did miss out on these or the barn set, uh, they'll be restocking those at the end of the month for single purchases. But like I said, there's 54 bundles left on the website. Grab yours today and you'll get the barn set in it. It's got layer one, layer two, layer three, tells you how exactly to layer them there. Here's another one that's layered, is the cowbell stamp. Sorry, we've got a reconnection happening there. I'll just put on my do not disturb. Sorry guys, I forgot to do that. I usually do that right before I go live. Are we still there? I think we're still there. Okay. Alrighty, we're back. So we've got Happy Paula Days, and that's a round for a round stencil with the cute little paw prints on there. Uh, let's see, here's another. I'll show you that one. The Cowbell's Ring, the Barn. I think I've showed you nearly all of them, the patterns. There's some mini ones. Oh, don't, there we go. Don't Stop Believing. Uh, we've got All Roads Lead Home at Christmas. And this is another layered one, the gingerbread house. This is very cute as well. See layer one, layer two, layer three. Uh, and a couple of mini sets. And these ones are four by eight inch stencil Christmas trees and pine trees. Gorgeous. And then these are a couple of the mini sets, snowmen faces. I think Melissa did that one this week. So if you missed her live, go check that one out. Just making sure we're still here and we're still running. I know Olive's wanting to get outside, she's scratching on my fly screen. There's um, a funny puns of Christmas, Christmas puns right there. Um, and then I'll be using this one today, using some recycled canvases. So you can see the back that's got a different colour on the back there. I have just painted these in red, white and green and we'll be using these recycled canvases. There was a set of three, I picked them up at a, a thrift store and they were brand new, still unused in packet, but I didn't quite like the design. I thought they make great Christmas crafting stencils. So we're gonna use these three pack of Christmas stencils on those today. We might do something fun with the backgrounds on one of them. There's Christmas blend. So 
So that will be one. This one's back to front. Hang on a second. Warm up with a cup of chia. And then hot cocoa, marshmallows, etc. on that one. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Right. I've just realised I don't have my microphone on my apron. So we'll mm -hmm. just do that. And then you'll be able to hear me a little clearer. Is that a bit better? Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for sprinkling. Yes, Cheryl, there you go. I knew someone would pick it up probably, but I wasn't looking at the comments just yet. Someone can say, is your mic on? <laughs> there you go. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, I've got all sorts of things to remember here, and one of them is to not leave my microphone cable down where the puppy can reach it because she's just going to she's just going to get onto that. So we'll... Um, Keep that out of reach. All right, we're back. Thank you so much for sprinkling, Dominica. That's amazing. All right, so I think I've gone through all the stencils except these two and these. I'm going to do a combination today of the lamp post, which is a layered set, and the Merry Christmas Tree and Market. So that's a two-piece set. It's got a Christmas tree and the Christmas market on the back. So I want to use that on another. This is all about upcycling canvases today. It's another upcycled canvas. Again, found it at a, a thrift store. I've put a base coat of a white on this one to use for my lamppost. We'll see how much. I always come with more projects than what we probably can do, just in case, so that we can um, get something started here. Let's start on the three small um, designs. And... I'll put all these ones away so it's kind of out of my way. There we go. So I've got some red, white and green, kind of classic Christmas colours here. And uh, I've got white, as I said before, I've just pre-painted these. I used um, an artisan paint for this one, fusion mineral paint for that one. As with all of our... Um, essential stencil, the bundle and everything today. Don't forget to use my code iRestoreStuff and you'll save 10% on anything you purchase. If you are watching me uh, on my, from Australia on my page, these only ship to the USA. So just making sure you're aware of that. All right, let's pop this down so we can see the project a little better. See which way I need to move across a bit. Four different canvases today. Let's see how much we can get done. I just wanted to remind you also too, our pink. Pink brushes are still available for uh, cancer research, Breast Cancer Awareness Month this month. And so you'll see those are available on the website. Let's get them all sold out, people. So that you know that 100% of the profits go to breast cancer research uh, for these pink brushes. So if you are ordering any of the bundle today or any of the Christmas stencils, why don't you just pop another set of brushes in? You can never go astray with too many brushes. And um, we'd love to see all those sold so that we can raise the money because 100% of the profits go to breast cancer research. So that's the brushes. And we do have the link. We will get the link for you in the pinned comments of the live. So pointing this down now to our project for today. <laughs> And hopefully my puppy will just go to sleep. Oh my goodness, Christina, thank you. She said she's ordered seven sets of brushes. Look, you can give them out to a friend. What a great gift idea uh, for someone who loves to stencil and loves to craft. You can give away some brushes to a friend, put them in someone's Christmas stocking. Great Christmas stocking gift idea. All right, now I did want to try something today. Let's try it with the red. Okay, so I've painted this canvas, and you can do this with the green or another color as well. Um, I've painted the canvas in Fusion Mineral Paint in Fort York Red. It's just the basic bright red color. And I want to go over it with a buffalo check in a slightly different red. So this is called Highlander, and it's just a slightly darker red than this one. So this is going to form our background for our sign today. And it also comes with a bonus mini stencil in the back. So if you don't have buffalo check, this is a great one. I could use the mini, but it's not quite large enough. I want it to fill right to the edges of my... Um, Brenda, great idea. 
She said she's ordered six and you hope to gift some of them. Great idea. Yes, love the brushes. They're a gorgeous color, aren't they? And they've got that rose gold on the ferrule, the metal part. So here's the idea. <clears throat> and you can do this with the candy stripe pattern as well, which is also a part of the Christmas bundle. So many fun things are part of the bundle today. I probably will just do the face of this as, uh, just for today's today's live. I want to put it in an area where it's going to be sort of centered. So I want to look at the design and make sure it's sort of centered on my on my piece. So I'm looking for some corners of this design and just kind of placing it where I think it might be good to go. So this is going to form a background and it won't be too busy because we're going to use similar tones but just slightly different if that makes sense. <laughs> All right Brenda you can't wait to get your bundle. Now listen we always love to know who is brand new to stenciling on here. If you're watching and you're brand new to stenciling we want to know. Let us know in the comments that you haven't stenciled before or maybe you've just bought your first set of stencils and you're looking for tips and tricks on how to go about stenciling. So that's what we're here for. We go live every weekday. One of the ambassadors is live here on Essential Stencils page. I'm going to have to just hold this tight because I don't have, I can't really tape it off with the painter's tape. So um, I do have a Fusion Mineral Paint affiliate link if you did want this paint, but really you could just find two, two acrylic paint reds that are a similar color. Hopefully you'll be able to see the lines and it'll just be a nice subtle subtle blend of color. Taking my hand off really carefully. I'm just going to grab a little bit more paint. So if you are new to stenciling let us know in the comments. I've just dipped my paint in the brush but I want to offload that onto my cardboard. This is literally just the stencil packaging that I just got in the mail this week for my packaging. So that's what I'm offloading it onto. Sorry that you can't see that very well. Pop it there for now. Uh, and this is going to be a little tricky to see where I've been, but I can see on the edges of the stencils. And we are just looking for a subtle, a sunt, subtle hint of the color. Wow, Kim, eight years this month, breast cancer survivor. You go, girl. That's amazing. Awesome. Um, I'm just going to have a little sneak peek to see if this... Oh, it is. It's working out just perfectly. Uh, you can hardly see uh, when I'm doing it. It kind of looks like, oh, I'm just painting everything red. And I'm just doing it really fairly quickly because it's just going to be, you know, you don't have to have a full solid coverage for this. Oh, I'm sure you can hear the crows out there. Now the other thing, when you're painting on canvases, if you've, if you've just joined, I'm painting on some thrifted canvases that I've just painted over the design on the front and painted them in Christmas colors so I can do this live demo here today and show you some of the Christmas bundle designs. Can't wait to use all of them actually. They're just all really great designs. As always, Essential Stencil just puts out amazing designs. I'm kind of just looking for where I've painted already because I can see the paint coming through on the stencils. But apart from that, it looks like the same red that I've just painted it with, but it's not. It's a slightly different shade. Offloading is one of the key things for stenciling. Offloading your brush so that you don't get bleeding all underneath. So you notice I'm just kind of going sideways on those bits that are the little stripey bits <clears throat> and I'm going swirly, doing a bit of a swirling method. Making sure you've got most of it offloaded off your brush. 
Once I lift this up, I have a feeling it's going to be really hard to line it up again to put it down. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Um, one of the things when you're doing a canvas is, and I always forget to do this, is to grab something like a small book that fits within the boundaries of the frame. Find a little book that's about the same height and put it underneath and that'll help to give more of a solid feel uh, while you're stenciling because sometimes it kind of the canvas wants to sway in. It's very different to painting on wood. Okay, let's see. And this is just a pretty quick demo of how to put this buffalo check on. Whoop. Because we just want that subtle effect in the background. See if I've missed any bits. I think I've got everything. I'll have a look. I want to hold it down so I can just make sure. Oh, there's some bits right here that I've missed. Glad I checked. Okay, let's have another look. That's going to be perfect. Ta-da! Okay, so you probably can't see too much from back there, but let me bring it close. <coughs> There we go, a nice subtle background. And that's just using two tones of a colour. So you could use that with the red, you could do the similar thing with the green. <coughs> um, I think I did it uh, one time for a background with pink and just two different tones of pink, like a musky pink versus a bright pink. And it, it worked out really well. Oops, I forgot to bring my wet cloth, but I do have a plastic bag that I can just pop my brush into, make sure that it doesn't dry out. Although I don't think I'll be using the... Oh, I might reuse the red on here, so I will use that again. Okay, so now we've got a background for our design. And you could do, like I said, you could do that with the, the candy stripe one also. So I could use the green, I could do that with the green. Why don't I just do that real quick? I've got time. We've got time, don't we, folks? <coughs> and the green. Yes, Christina, I will show us a layering project tonight with the lamps. The lamps. What's it called? One lamp. I think it's called Layering Winter Light Post. It's a light post or a lamp post. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, just going here. Doing this pattern again, this is the candy stripe pattern. So this one, it doesn't matter too much whether I'm in the center or not. It might be a little trickier in holding it still. So let's see how we go with this. I'll use my thin one. Now I did use this color, Pressed Burn, which is a fusion mineral paint color. This time I'm gonna be using Mana Green, which is a slightly different and darker green. But I think it's still in those same tones. So let's just take a look. There it is, and blob that off here. <coughs> Again, offloading that, working it into the bristles. I'll start down here. I wanna just put my hand on that really firmly. And this one, I'm not doing any swirling. I'm just going straight across with these, with the brush. And again, it's just going to be a subtle, subtle background. This is such a same, similar t color that I'm hoping that it's actually coming through because it looks like I'm just painting the same color on. Oh, I can just see it. You know what? I'm not sure that it's as effective as the red, but we're going to give it a go. Candy stripe probably would have been better in the red, you know, but. <laughs> yeah, these ones are a little bit trickier than the buffalo check because you've got these long panels and they want to just move around everywhere on this. So you've got to just hold them down really nicely and still. A 
little more concentration. Can you tell? I'm not talking much. <laughs> oh, Linda, it says you got kicked off. Hopefully that was your internet and not mine, because then it would be happening for everybody. Hope you get back on soon. And again, I'm just going by what I can see that I've painted on the stencil, because the greens are very close in colour, so it's going to be very subtle stripe. Whoops. Oop, this one's so tricky. This one would have been better if I had something underneath underneath the canvas in the center of it. Because I can feel that wanting to pull and stretch. Oh, yep, very, very slight. Slight light design. This would be great for wrapping paper, the backgrounds of gift cards. Yeah, red and white is perfect, Lisa. Like a red background and then um, white stripes maybe. Or you could do it the other way around for the candy stripe. That would be that was actually my plan in my head that I was going to do the red canvas with this and the green one with the buffalo check. But last minute, I don't know where my head went. I wasn't thinking about it. <laughs> and here we are. Green candy stripes. Hey, let's just call it peppermint. Am I right? We could have peppermint candy stripes. It doesn't look quite peppermint. But imagine these in pastel colours also, like your pastel greens, just two different tones, a bit of a minty colour. That would look beautiful with either buffalo check, buffalo check or the red. <coughs> Coming back down this way. And we finished with our stripes. Let's have a little peek. Oh, it's very, very subtle, guys. But that's nice. Gives a nice subtle background. You can sort of see it in the light a bit more than you can when it's when the shadow's on it. So you can see that. There we go. That's the background for our canvases for those. <coughs> Pop that aside. And again, my brush. All right, let's have a look at, I wanted to do this lamp post. So let's get started with those layers so we can see Oh, you know what? I didn't bring the black. Guys, I'm going to have to see if I can reach my black paint because I'm going to need that for my lamp post. We've got a gorgeous um, white canvas painted already. So don't go anywhere. This is what we're going to be doing, a layered lamp post. And I can't do a layered lamp post without the black paint being on that first layer. So hold tight, I'll be right back. All right, here I am. I've got Fusions Coal Black. I've also brought Cast Iron. So Cast Iron is a really dark charcoal gray. I think that might be actually nice for the um, the lamp post to be a cast iron. Okay, someone just asked, Cherie is asking, how is it different stenciling on canvas versus wood? So um, I find the only main, main difference is just the, the canvas is loose, whereas the wood is rock solid. So you have to just be a little bit more gentle with your stenciling, or alternately, you, you sort of have to uh, have something underneath. So this canvas, if, you, if I turn it over to the back, 
It has a brace in the centre, so that keeps it from sort of going down and being too soft. It also came with some little wedges that you put in here to tighten the canvas, and I could probably do that afterwards. I don't even know if you're supposed to do that after or before. But what I could do is get a, often just a book that size, that thick, whatever's the thickness of that, and just pop the book inside here, and that gives you a bit more of a solid base to do it on. All right, so I wanted to do this lamp post and layer it. <coughs> And um, it's called Layering Winter Light Post. So it comes with the three different layers. This one, the others, the, a lot of the layering ones have great, uh, have a, like a one, two, three layer. This one you can kind of see there's one, two, and three on the little design there. <coughs> so I'm trying to think which order we put them in. The, the second and third layers are basically for the the little vine that wraps around. So you honestly could just have the lamp post by itself on here. Now because my canvas is a lot longer and I didn't bring my measuring tape to measure how long it is, but I do have a ruler here that has both centimetres and inches on it. As you know, I'm in Australia and we deal in centimetres. So we've got 12, it's almost 12 and 24. It's almost 24. It's like 23 and a half that way by about 12 that way inches <clears throat> okay then I wanted to so because it only takes up this much space because this one is only 16 inches this way I am going to add this little Christmas market sign yes Caroline love the lamp post I've got to order it Bonnie you take layers of heavy cardboard for the inserts that's a great idea very good idea too. Yeah, just anything that works to just kind of build up the underneath of the canvas so that you can work on it. So this is a two-pack set. It comes with We Wish You a Merry Christmas and also every stencil pack comes with instruction brochure and it also comes with this Christmas market sign with cookies, ornaments and caroling down the bottom. Isn't that gorgeous? And you could just do this with a nice candy stripe at the top. So I thought I would add the word Christmas market to the top of here and I can even add the cookies, ornaments and caroling down the bottom. Then I would probably leave out the bells. I wondered if there was room for the bells but if I did add the bells they kind of take away from this gorgeous cute little cardinal sitting on top there. So I might just use the Christmas market across the top and you could you know you could extend this uh, the candy stripe. I call it a candy stripe. You could extend that to make it go off the edges or you could leave that off altogether and just have Christmas market. So I may just do that. And so I'll be sort of taping up different areas that I don't want to use. You could also use your cookies, ornaments and caroling down the bottom and extend the stripes off there as well. So we'll add that in a minute. First let's go on with our... But I did sort of need, need this to figure out my placement if I'm adding those words down there. And adding this up the top, yeah, definitely no room for the bells. I probably could center this a little more, but I'm leaning the, the lamp post is going to sit a little further to the bottom. So see how we just, I kind of just get a canvas and use the stencils to work with my canvas. So if I only had a small canvas about this size, I would just do the lamp post. But because I've got all this extra space, I kind of want to fill it up with other stuff. So that goes nicely there that would go nicely there with or without the candy stripes what do you think with candy stripes or without I kind of think I might do them now let's see yes Christina the lamp post is in the bundle everything I'm using today is in the Christmas bundle the Christmas set I'm just gonna tape this down on the canvas in diagonal corners because I don't want too much tape all around it although you know what, I may tape a little bit up here because that cardinal, the head is a little bit close to the, the edge. I probably want to go over that with red. Let's have a look at the other layers, see what we've got in the set. <clears throat> in the set we've got our lamppost layer and these are the other two layers. See how this one is just the berries and then this one is just the leaves. So that sits around. And so that you don't have to figure out which way is up, they have etched in 
maybe you can see it better if I hold it up like this. Oh, I don't know if you can see that now. They've got it etched in. You can see the etching of the lamp post. There's a bit of a reflection there. There we go. You can see that lamp post is etched into the stencil so you can layer it exactly on top where it needs to go. So that is just for um, the leaves and then you put the berries on top and we have to make sure we get these the right way. Yes, the cardinal goes that way, it's facing that way, so they will be you know, exactly in the right spot. Okay, so we'll put those aside. I think I'm going to do this cast iron colour. Yes, it's in the new classic Christmas bundle, which is, um, we will put the link to the bundle. I've got that on my Iris Still Stuff page, but we'll put the link to the bundle there. There's only 20 left of this Christmas post though. So if you did want to just get that singly, you can get that singly now. All right, going on with my brush let me use probably a larger brush for this one I did mention this before but for those of you who've just jumped on and you haven't seen the pink brushes just giving you a heads up that we would love to sell all those brushes out because 100% of the profits go to raising money for breast cancer awareness research uh, breast cancer research uh, they come in four different sizes. So I've used two sizes already. I'm going to use these two before we finish our stenciling today. Um, you could probably tape up those sides as well. I'm just going to be super careful to try not to get all of that. Now the, it's going to be a bit odd because I've got a white background. I'm going to be doing charcoal, snow and flakes and everything. But that's okay. That's okay. They do have a little bit of a guide here. We could do them with sparkly gold if we wanted to. We could do them all sorts of colours. I'd love to do the bow in the red, so we'll see how we go with that. And the cardinal, we've got to do that red, so at least I've got my red brush here. We may even try and do that first, huh? Let's try and do that first and then we've got a bit to play with. The Essential Stencils just posted the Christmas bundle link. So there's the link to the entire bundle and you do save 10% with the bundle. Plus, if you use my code here, I Restore Stuff, you'll save 10% on top of that. So I guess that makes 20% off. All right, so I'm going to do this red in the Highlander red. Oh, someone just mentioned shedding of the brushes. I don't know that they shed more than the others. They're just every brush that I've ever used sheds a little bit. So you just have a little bit to play with. Um, just uh, Usually I just play around with the bristles, wash them a time or two, but make sure if you've washed them, that you actually make sure they're completely dry before you use them. Okay, so there's not a lot on my brush here and I haven't taped the bow over. I haven't taped it off. We will need probably two coats of this red because the reds can be a little bit, because of the pigments in those reds, they can be a bit translucent, see-through. So there are a few different layering sets in the stencil bundle. If you go click on the link that we've provided right there for the Christmas bundle, you'll be able to see all the different types of layering sets. There's a gingerbread house, there's this lamp post, there's the cow, um, the cow layering set. What else is there? The barn. If you buy the bundle, you'll get the barn. They've actually run out of stock of the actual single barn itself. Oh look causing me a little trouble this red colour. It's trying to, it's kind of removing as I try and go over a second coat. We can't do the second coat until we're completely dried here. So we'll do that in a minute. But the cardinal, that's what I forgot. Hi Kimberly, how are you? Thanks so much for joining us. I love it when you all pop on here and say hello. And don't forget we give a giveaway at the end of our lives. So don't go anywhere. Might have to tape off our cardinal as we do our black colour. We can just use a bit of painter's tape for that. I'm having trouble getting it to go on pretty solid over the white. 
Sometimes if you haven't let your first coat dry, but this is should be pretty dry, then the second coat sometimes will try and lift off under that. Okay, putting that aside. And we're going to go with our dark cast iron colour here. And if you do want a, a Fusion affiliate link, I've got one that I can get for you. Just let me know. But you can just use any acrylic paints, craft paints that are good for stenciling. Okay, so this is the colour cast iron. It's a lovely dark, dark grey. Again, on canvas. I wish I had something for underneath that. Let's see if I can maybe use one of my other canvases that will sit under there. Not that that's going to be fully solid, but it might help give a little bit of strength. Now this has got some little stripes going up and down on our lamp post, so we want to go that way in the direction of the stripes so that we don't get that they don't wriggle and you get that bleeding under. So I'm going to do a little wriggle up here. You could do black, you could do brown, any colour you like for the lamppost. Grabbing another canvas that I've got aside here. If you missed that, we, we've been creating some fun patterns on these small ones. It'd be great for Christmas signs. I think it might be to do with the paint I have underneath, I'm not sure. It's feeling a little bit blotchy on this surface. Offloading it. Now, I probably want to get a tiny bit of painter's tape. I feel like I'm running out of painter's tape. And just make sure I can watch that that's not going to get on my bow. So just kind of paint the tape as you go. Just taping off that bow so that we don't get that charcoal colour on the bow. Whoa, dipped way too much. You only need it on that tiny end of the bristles and I've just kind of chunked it in there. These little fusion tester pots are the perfect size for stenciling. They go, it goes a fair way too. There we go. Maybe I just need a little bit more on my brush. I'll go down and redo that section down there as well. And just again, so that we don't get it on our bow. I can tear this bit in half. Oh, what am I thinking? was taping over the lamp post. That's not what I want to do. Has anyone else been Christmas crafting this week? Crafting for Christmas. It's a most wonderful time of year, if I do say so. Yep, there we go. Run out of painter's tape right as I'm as I'm doing this. Let's see. We may be able to just reuse some of these pieces. Okay, let's got that so I've taped off the bow and then I'll go over that bow afterwards in a um, in a second coat now I don't want to get it on the cardinal either so let me just see if I can use this tape I'm really being careful to peel this off because I'm not trusting that I have um, I just did the painting of the background this morning, so it's kind of a bit, not sure if I'm going to tear it off, you know? Someone made a Christmas tree today. Oh, I love it. Diane's been crafting all afternoon and you're going to do it again after the live. Some people are even crafting as we are live. So who's doing that? Who's crafting while we're live and what are you making? I'd love to know. Tracy was cleaning her new pink brushes. Oh, awesome. That's amazing. That's great. Okay, add some more paint onto the brush. And now we've got those birds covered over. I'm 
I'm going to go back down and do this little section here where the grey isn't quite covered. So you can see it's a little bit lighter here than it is up here. There we go. Now we've got just the right amount on our brush. Wriggle that all the way down. We'll wriggle it at the top. Getting a lot better coverage there now. Wriggle, 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 wriggle. Okay. And we may need just a touch more up here. We can go and do those gold stars in a goldy colour. And I didn't bring any goldy colour with me. Wasn't thinking it all through, was I? We could do red stars. I may just leave them and I'll do them later. So I just wanted to show you this main, this layering idea first. So I could even do the second coat of that cardinal afterwards. Let me see. Let's see. I want to do two coats on that red of the bows and the cardinal but we'll show you how this layering works and I'll go ahead and do the um, I'll do any second coats of that red later on because you don't need to see me do that if you're in the stencil of the month club or if you follow my page I restore stuff uh, I always go and post a picture of there it is come up again of what I've created on the lives in the stencil of the month club group oh this tape is really sticking well so I should have stuck it a bit more if you um, if you want it to de fuzz, uh, you know I call it no not defuzzing you want to fuzz create a bit of fuzz on either your shirt or on your skin to just create a bit of um, stickability on that painter's tape, non-stickability. So it doesn't stick too hard. You don't want it to stick too hard. Okay, so there's my nice crisp lines for the lamp post. Now I want to put the, what do you call this? A vine around the outside. So we want to put this one down first. We're going to put the vine and then the red berries, okay? So let me show you how we're layering it. We've got the lamp post etched here so that I can see exactly where it should go because we can see through the stencil. So see how they've done that? So clever. And then we're going to add some green to our stencil. And this just makes it so much easier than trying to do all the painter's tape, which you saw me trying to do with the bow and all of the other things. So we'll use whatever green we've got on my green brush over here that I was using before. It's getting a bit... Um, so it's just getting a little bit dry. So I want to use a bit of a wet cloth. See if I can find one here. A damp cloth. I'm just going to tap the end of the brush in a damp cloth. Just make sure because that was sort of drying out. I sort of didn't have it properly in the plastic bag. So now that we've got this lined up, we can see where the etching lines up with the stencil underneath and then we can just use maybe some of this pressed fern okay offloading that color it is it's very clever <laughs> yes I do have birds someone's hearing the birds Brenda's hearing the birds outside that one's a crow so it's not the prettiest of sounds <laughs> of birds. And sometimes you can hear the nice tweeting of other, other birds out there. So I'm just doing a nice soft, gentle swirl on these leaves here. And again, you will probably need a couple of coats. The green and the red sometimes have these pigments in them that, you know, are quite translucent so you might have to have go over that with a second coat we can hit that with the hairdryer so we can make sure we get that uh, covered first because we do want to get our second coat on before we put the berries on because they're going to be that last layer coming back down it's 
So let me grab the hair dryer. And I'm just going to dry that while the stencil's right on there. <coughs> Someone said, I sure hope I ordered that stencil. Sherry, you can check your order probably somewhere, but if you did get the bundle, this is definitely in the bundle. So if anyone's ordered the bundle, this lamppost is in there. The Christmas Classic Christmas Bundle. All right, so we're going over this again with the second coat to just create a nice dark green. This little part here goes across the lamppost, so beautiful layering effect. This is the second layer so this is the one we want to do second. You get your lamp post down and then we wrap the vine around the lamp post. There we go so that's the green done. Lift that off and if you can see little spots here those are the little snowflakes that we'll probably put down afterwards and this is our third layer okay so that was our second with the greenery and I will just hit that with the hairdryer again so that's all completely dry and you can see exactly where the berries go there's little areas here where you can see there's almost like cut out holes for the berries to go in it is a lot easier with layering isn't it I agree Okay, so again, we can see the etching of the lamp post. Oh, I have to hold it super close, or maybe I have to hold it far away, or maybe I have to put a little black thing behind it. But there is etching. There we go. Can we see the etching of the lamp post right there? You can kind of see reflections of my camera <laughs> phone. But there is etching there. And so we just see which way the cardinal is facing this way. So we're going to make sure that that's facing that way. And now we can see where we're going to put the berries because it's got exactly the layer right there in place. We could tape that down if we wanted to just to make sure it's not going to go anywhere. And um, let's get that red that we had before. And this is the same red we used for the cardinal and the bow. I think it's this one, Highlander. Now I'm making sure I've got that in the shot. Yep, so we're going to offload that red and swirl it around in the bristles of our brush. <coughs> Hi Dorothy, thanks so much for sharing you guys. Thanks for, for sprinkling our lives out there. Um, yep, this new lamppost is 16 inch stencil. Yes, you may have seen the lamppost before but that was a porch board. It was a huge, I don't know, five foot... <coughs> I think or six foot porch board sign so we're going to go over with the little swirly motion and we probably will do a second coat of these berries but see how easy that is now to do the berries So I realizing what would have been amazing is if the bow and the cardinal were in this red layer also. That would have been excellent. So these little bits cross, the little berries here will cross over that lamp post. So you will definitely need to do um, a couple of coats on this one to get that, because it's so dark, to get that red to show through on that. Now remember this lamp post kind of stands out as a tiny small, a little bit small compared to the huge canvas I've got. So the canvas I think we figured out was 24 inches and the lamp post stencil is about, uh, what did we say, 16? So it, 
I'm going to add to it this Christmas market sign. So I'll probably use that up the top, that down the bottom. Did we decide on a candy stripe? Oh, I'll let your little light shine. Great idea, Janet. <laughs> okay, going over here again with our second coat, you could even do a third if you feel like you want to get that dark part nice and strong. little berry there and the last little bits up there and again I will go over with the second coat of my bow and the cardinal afterwards but I just wanted to show you this layering of these so that you can have a go at that when you get yours <coughs> you can always refer back to these videos they stay on the Facebook page on essential stencils Facebook page I also upload them to my YouTube channel I restore stuff on YouTube so there's the berries and they sit perfectly along the vine because we've got that layering layering happening so again with the I'll show you the original lamppost here it is so I will go over that again to do my bows I'll put that in place put something else on there too these little dots out here I'm going to go over that and make that kind of sparkly and red but let me go I mean gold or something I'll use some kind of metallic I just forgot to bring it to my live here today so now we're going to go over with the Christmas market sign what did you guys think should I use the leave the, put the candy candy canes on top I'm not going to put the bell so we'll take that off and I'm just going to do the word Christmas markets but do you think I should leave the candy cane there or not Let's have a look and see. What are we thinking? <clears throat> and then I'm going to have to take off my bell down the bottom here also. So we don't get that those words. So we could do the words in that cast iron colour, I think, again. Um, yes to the candy cane, they're all saying. So I am going to have to probably, let's see, I will do the candy cane. I'll have to do that in the red. So I will have to get some of that tape, tape off my, right where the M is, because I want to do that candy cane red. All right, let's grab the cast iron for the words. <clears throat> and if you've seen me do shadow effects before, this would be a good place to do that shadowing on this Christmas market sign. I won't be doing that today though because we're limited with our time. <clears throat> okay, so I've got it in place. just want to do a really careful swirl, holding my stencil in place as I go. So we could do another coat to just make it more even, but I'll do that after. <coughs> Whoop! While I've got the this colour on my brush, no, I'm going to do the I'm going to do the candy cane right now because I've got all my tape up here. I have to go grab another painter's tape if I want to get some more. Pop that in here. Candy cane. It's got to be red, right? I've got to do that red. And I am going to have to um, extend it because I want the candy cane to go right across the end. Okay, we're almost out of time, folks. So I'm not going to do this little corner here. I think I have to just, I haven't done this before, so I'm just giving it a go. I'll just do this top layer here. I've made my backgrounds for my other signs, but I'll have to do them. The three little canvases that I started out with. 
Maybe I can just show you one on this live and then I'll just do the others at another time so you can see the background. Again, I'll go over this with a second coat after our live is finished. Don't go anywhere though, people. My friends, we are going to have a giveaway at the end of our live, so don't go anywhere. Um, so there's the candy cane stripe here towards the end. Now I need to pick up my stencil gently and make it go off the end and matching up all the layers or the stripes that I've got so far going on here. All right, so that's pretty straightforward. Just have to hold it in place again and now we're going right off the end. You could even make it go over the edge and around the side of your canvas if you wanted to. Now let's move it across to the other side, lining it up really well there. Look, I should probably bring this down a little bit closer so you can see. Lining it up right there. And I've still got enough on my brush to where it's going to paint nicely. So it will need a second coat. But isn't that the cutest? We've got Christmas markets. Maybe I could have shifted it down a little bit further, but I think that's fine. I think it's fine. And let's see if we can get this wording down here without getting the, without painting those stripes. Oops, I'm gonna need that one. I'm running out of tape. I'll have to go and get my other tape. Okay, so now we're gonna just go over the bottom. So quick, there we go, right. So I'm sort of centering this one. Make it right about there. And again, where's our black? Or it's a charcoal, it's called cast iron. do those words. There's a little snowflake here. I'm just trying to avoid it because we haven't got snowflakes anywhere else on our, our sign. So we will put, we might be able to put some more um, when I do all the snowflakes around the lamppost. So there's that bit. And then again with the red. So here's where we Remove these bits. And we're just sort of taping up these words to make sure we don't go over them with our red. Whoop, wrong way. It's like paper mache or something, it's all mixed together. Okay. So looking as to where around about where that C is there and the G is there. There we go. Straightening it up and we've got the red. Now coming across as our candy cane around the bottom. Yeah, you say you really like the way it's turning out. I have a hard time putting different stencils together. And thank you for sprinkling too. Thank you for sharing our live, guys. That's amazing. Love it. Um, yeah, uh, if you do have a hard time, just try. Just try different stencils, um, adding them, mixing them, matching them. You can always practice on cardboard. That's what I tell people. Um, if you've never stenciled before, practice on a piece of cardboard first or some spare wood that you might have lying around the house until you can perfect that technique of getting the um, getting no bleeding underneath your stencil so I'm just moving that across now and again going over and if you do make a mistake it's just paint we can paint over it, start again, sand it off, whatever. It's a bit harder to sand off a canvas, but you can always paint over a canvas, you know, which is exactly what I did for this one. It had some design underneath it and I've just painted it all white. I put a, a primer on it so that it wouldn't, would be easier to cover it up. And there we go. 
Look at that. So there we go. There's the basic Christmas market stencil. I feel like this Christmas market word could have come down a little bit there, but that's, um, that's okay. You can kind of see, we could fill it up with stars and something like that. So, all right, I just wanted to show you really quickly, we'll do one more. Uh, one more of our little stencil things over here using a clean brush on these canvases that I've just painted here for you. I was going to use these fun designs. There's three of them. Three easy stencils to do. And I've got some white paint here ready to go. This is an Australian uh, mineral paint that I stock here in Australia. If you are watching on my page, I am irestorestuff.com in Australia. Now, these ones do have a bit of a hook on the back, so I've got to make sure that I've got that up the right way. We've got our stripes going on here, and then all we have to do is add the stencil, and we've got a gorgeous, nice white stenciled sign. Yeah, these are canvas too, Maggie. So these are canvases, and another, it's just, they, they were a three-piece set that came um, from a thrift store. They sold them as a set. It was a brand new in packet set and it had some other design on it. And I thought, well, they'd just look a bit better with the essential stencils on them, wouldn't they? So here I am. All right, I've offloaded my white paint. Let's go ahead and see how super quick and easy this is to do. Oh, I nearly went off the edge there. This is a good one that you'd want to probably tape over if you... I had some more painter's tape, I would do that. See, I haven't picked up my brush to dip it in anymore. One little dip will go a long way. You just keep swirling until you see hardly any paint coming off the brush. If it's looking too sparse, you can always go over it with a second coat. But just having that one thin coat is going to be plenty to make it stand out but I can go over it with a second coat afterwards when it dries. Ta-da! Look how quick and simple and easy that is. Christmas blend. And you see the candy stripes in the background? If you missed the first part of our live, um, you'll see that. And we did this buffalo check design as well, making sure I've got this up the right way. So I don't want to have to go and change the hook. Now, don't go anywhere because we are about to announce some winners. Essential Stencil is going to pop them up on the top of the comments as I do these last little canvases and look how super quick and easy they are to do. Just going around there with a nice little swirl. And again, we're using our pink brushes, which all of the Profits go to breast cancer research. Essential stencil is would love it if we could sell out of these. Wouldn't that be amazing? And get all that money going to good research for breast cancer. Okay, there's another one. Done. Looks. You see how super quick that was. So with this one, obviously we're not going to do white on white because that wouldn't make sense. So we've got to pick red or green. They did turn out great, didn't they? All right, where's our last design? Oh, there it is. I've got it right there. There's one, two, three, and here's our last one. I'm not going to use the pink. Let's go with red. I do like the red. So we're going to grab that Highlander color again, dip it in. Last little thing, and I want to see who our winners are today. If you're watching on the Essential Stencil page, those winners will come up in a minute. Now, nice little centered piece. This says cup of cheer. I hope I've got it up the right way. We'll be able to tell as soon as we uh, finish up here if it's on the right way or not. That would be terrible if I had it back to front. But I'm doing these upside down for you all so that you can see them up the right way because I think that's helpful. Okay, so our red, we're going to have to add a little bit more now, making sure I hold really still. 
Yes, this one is Highlander Rhonda. So if you do have that colour, otherwise I do have an affiliate link for Fusion Mineral Paint. I'd love you to use that if you if you don't have a local retailer. They ship it directly to you and um, I do earn a small commission on any of the sales from the Fusion Mineral Paint, which is always helpful for teaching tutorials. That's how we get paid. So thank you guys so much for all your support. I love it when you use our codes. You can use my code I Restore Stuff for anything on the Essential Stencil website. We've got our Christmas bundle. There was like 54 left as a bundle. So if you do want the bundle, grab that. That one does have the snowman transfers in there. The gorgeous snow globe snowman transfers. And it also has the barn. Now those two items, the snowman transfers and the barn, have sold out as single items. So you won't, won't be able to get them as single items, but they are included in the bundle. They've held back some of those, especially for those people who are wanting the whole bundle. So grab those and um, as a bundle and you'll be able to get them. But they will restock them at the end of the month if you wanted to wait. But I know a lot of you are super um, already invested in all of your Christmas crafting right now. Time-wise, you're onto it. All right, there we go. We did it. We did it, guys. <laughs> Let me see. Who are our winners tonight? Let's have a look. We've got this, which I'll finish off a little bit more when we're done. We'll add some of the stars and the sprinkles that we saw. I could even just sort of blend them right out. So I love that Christmas market. Very cute with the cardinal. I'll go over those and make sure they're all nice and crisp. And we've got, you know, solid coverage on all of them. So that is all I've got for you today. Don't forget to follow me over at I Restore Stuff. That's where I hang out on my social medias. As up the top there, you can see I Restore Stuff is the name of my business. I'm here every Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CST uh, USA time. So if you are watching from my Australian page, you'll see uh, that we are in Australia and it's usually 10 a.m on a Thursday, so we're even a day ahead of you guys in the States, so there you go. So we've done that today. We have, um, thank you for all the stars, oh my goodness, <laughs> on my page there. So we've done this little set here. Now the names and the links to all of that, I'll pop them in on Essential Stencils uh, live after, but it's on my I Restore Stuff page. You'll see the links all in the description of our live today. Let's have a look. Can anyone see, you're saying congratulations, but I don't see the winners yet, but <laughs> So let me know if you do see the winners because that's when I'll see them also. Uh, they usually come up for me in the pinned comments. So maybe Essential Stencil may have not posted them yet. But do let me know if you can see winners on there on our live. If we don't get to pick the winners now, they will be picking them and they usually tag your name. So if you're a winner, you'll have your name tagged by Essential Stencil and they'll give you instructions exactly where to um, email them. That Let them know you're a winner on Sharon's Live today here at Essential Stencil. And they will send them out to you. Let them know where to send it to. So there you go. Someone said yes, they're up. Okay, so I'm not seeing them. So congratulations to those wonderful winners today. Don't forget, use my code IRESTOREStuff. You'll save 10% on top of the already 10% discounted bundle for Christmas, the classic Christmas bundle. And there's some beautiful coastal Christmas uh, stencil sets still left as well as bundles. So that's all for me tonight. Congratulations to those people who have won prizes. And I'll see you again next week. Bye.